Welcome to All Life Maths TV. My name is Dix Anemo, and this is a channel where we will learn mathematics every day. All right. And so, um, before we start, I want to use this media to thank all my subscribers and my viewers all over the world, and also to tell those of my subscribers that uh, actually dropped some topics to work on. Uh, I want to assure you that I'm working on them, and in no distant time, uh, videos on those um, topics will be released. Okay, so just bear with me for some time. All right, now we have a challenge on the board today. So, before you go to this challenge, if you are new to this channel, click this subscribe, and when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button. Okay, now the question says 3 to the power of x plus 1 equal to 2 to the power of x. So what there will be the value of x? This is an exponential equation. So let's see what this gives us. In turn, we have solution. Let's take our solution from here. In this challenge, I'm going to use two different special method in tackling this, okay? So either of them is okay, but the one you prefer, you drop it in the comment section. So let's take the first method, okay? Our first, uh, the first method, let's see what it says. The first method, we take our question down, which is 3 to the power of x plus 1 equal to 2 to the power of x. What I'm going to do here is this. I will take the of the s root of both sides. So from here, let me put it and say take the s root of both sides or both sides. So if we do that, this is going to give us here the x root of 3 to the power of x plus 1 equal to the s root of 2 to the power of x. <laughs> Very special. Okay, so from here, what we do here, this we go with this. So, of course, this root we go with this x here. And this can also be expressed as 3 to the power of x plus 1 or to the power of 1 all over x under here equal to 2. Right. So let's proceed from here. Okay. Now, if you look at this, according to the law of indices, it says that if we have something of this kind, if we have a to the power of m, all to the power of n, we can open up this to give us a to the power of m n. Okay, I have a video on the uh, basic laws of indices and it's showing up here. Okay, right now, if we apply this law to this very expression here, we're going to have this to be 3 to the power of x plus 1 all over x, everything equal to 2. So at this point, let's take um, log to base 3 of both sides. So from here, let's see, take, take log to base, to base 3 of both sides, of both sides. Okay, so if we do that, this automatically will give us log uh, 3 to the power of x, plus 1 all over x, okay, base 3 equal to log 2 base 3. All right. Now, according to the law of logarithm, it says that if you have log um, m to the power of k, it says bring this k back, okay? So this we now in talk gives us k log m, okay? This is what we call the power law. I also have a video on the um, nine basic laws of logarithm too. And it's also showing up here too. Okay. So from here, if we take this law, if we go by this law, we're going to have this. The whole of this power is going to come back here. And so this will give us here x plus 1 all over x, the log, let's put this in bracket, log 3 base 3 equal to log 2 base 3. Now, we have log 3 base 3 will give us 1 because 
the log of any number base itself will give us one and so this will give us y so we we'll have this to be x plus one all over x equal to log two base three very easy we proceed again from here now look at this yeah we can simplify this x if we rewrite this this will give us x all over x plus one all over x equal to log two base three okay if we continue from this we're going to have this to be one okay plus one all over x equal to log two base three all right we can send this one to this other side to give us here one all over x equal to log two base three minus one minus one okay we find the reciprocal of both sides if we find the reciprocal of both sides this is going to give us x equal to one all over log two base three minus one all right now we work on this very log we have here now we apply the change of base law okay so if we apply the change of base law to this very expression here it says that if you have um log let's assume we have log m base a and you want to change this base maybe the base is not covenant with this log so this is going to give us here log m b is b all over log a b is b where b is the new base number so if we apply that to this very expression here let's change this to um base 10 and so this will give us x equal to let's erase this first okay so this will give us here x equal to you have your one all over here yeah, it's going to give us log uh, two base ten okay all over log three base ten or minus one very easy now if we apply uh, the division law of logarithm then this is going to give us minus but we don't want to go into that we want to take the value of log 2 and the value of log 3 subtracted from 1 then we get our answer for there and so from this x will give us 1 all over let's resolve to our calculator and see the value of a log 2 log 2 we have this to be a 0 0.3010 all over um, log 3 log 3 we have 0 0.4 uh, 7, 7, uh, 1, or minus 1. This is equal to 1 all over. Let's divide and see what that gives us. 0 0.3010 divided by 0 0.4771. Then this gives us 0 0.63. Um, 0 9 minus 1 so let's go ahead with our simplification if we, or if we take one from this this is going to give us point six three zero nine minus 1 we have this to be minus 0 0.3691 and if we go ahead to divide we have this to be minus 2.709 approximately so therefore our x is equal to minus 2.709 all right now let's take a look at the second method and see the word that is better so we take a second method so let's look at second method the second method to this we put down our question which is 3 to the power of 1 plus x equal to 2 to the power of x this expression 
which is 3 to the power of x plus y could also be written as 3 to the power of x dot which is times 3 to the power of 1 or equal to 2 to the power of x okay now i just apply the law of indices that says that when the bases are the same and you have a multiplication sign they add the power because here we have invisible one okay so if we do that we now have this divide through want to divide through by 3 to the power of x so this will give us 3 to the power of x dot 3 to the power of 1 all over 3 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of x all over 3 to the power of x so from here let's continue from here all right mind you this 3 to the power of x will cancel this so on this other side we are left with 3 equal to then we apply the law of indices that says that if you have uh, a to the power of m all over b to the power of m this is equal to a all over b all to the power of m so if we apply that here we're going to have this to be 2 all over 3 all to the power of x yeah want to take log to be 10 on both sides if we do that this will give us or let's put it in writing take log to be 10 to be 10 on both sides on both sides so if we do that this is going to give us log 3 bis 10 equal to log um, 2 all over 3 all to the power of x bis 10 According to the law of indices, again, this power, we come back. In other words, we move this guy backward here. So if we do that, then this will now become log 3 bis 10 equal to x log 2 all over 3. All right. Let's divide through by uh, log 2 all over 3 bis 10. If we do that, automatically x is going to give us here log 3 base 10 all over log 2 all over 3 base 10 very easy okay now if we simplify this down dx will automatically give us here log 3 base 10 all over your log if we apply the division law of logarithm which is going to be 2 base 10 minus log 3, log 3 base 10. Okay, so therefore, if we simplify this, five this down with your calculator, you're going to have this to be minus 2.709, which is same answer with the one we got from the other one. Okay, if you have learned something from this, exponential uh, uh, equation then drop it in the comment section you have a better way than these two method uh, i've shown so far also drop it in the comment section do not forget to give our video a thumbs up okay and do not forget to share with our family and friends who need this knowledge thanks for always be there bye for now